Proverbs chapter 3, verse 19 and 20. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up and clouds dropped down the dew. The world we live in is the fruit of God's wisdom. Everything we see in creation, everything we see, the mountains, the rivers, the sun, the moon, the planets, the galaxy, all of these are a manifestation of God's wisdom, God's understanding, and God's knowledge. That's what the passage is saying. So the things that we see did not start as things, as things we see. They started as wisdom and knowledge and understanding in God. So you can say that they came from God's mind, God's thoughts, God's thinking. So for us to live fruitful lives, our minds must be fruitful. Our thoughts must be fruitful. Because the battle starts in the mind before it gets into the physical reality. God stimulates our imagination through his words and promises. If you remember your Bible well, when God wanted to show Abraham how his future would be, he took him out and showed him the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore and said, so shall your descendants be. Why did God have to do that? He was triggering the imagination of Abraham. Because if you can't imagine it, you cannot do it. You think it, believe it, do it. If you can't think it, you can't believe it. And if you can't believe it, you can't do it. So fruitfulness starts with the mind. A mind that is trapped in impossibility cannot inspire fruitfulness. If your mind is constantly thinking about it's not possible, it cannot be done, I can't see my way out of it, and everything you see uh, around you, you only see it in the negative form, or you only see the reality but never think beyond the reality to see what is possible and what can be done, then fruitfulness will elude you. So in living fruitful lives, God uses our minds, our spirits to redesign our reality. God inspires new thoughts in our minds so that we can think of new things and start working towards them. One of the most fundamental differences between human beings and all other life forms is our ability to imagine. Imagination is unique to us. And with imagination, we are able to originate new possibilities. It's amazing the kinds of things people do. Sometimes when you see what people have done, you wonder, the question you ask yourself is, what were they thinking? How do they think? What kinds of ideas would make a person create this machine or create this product or, or take this action? It's a fruitful mind. It's a fruitful thought. So I pray that God will give you a fruitful mind. Imagination helps us to rearrange existing scenarios. So when we use the power of imagination, we don't just look at one situation as it is, but we look at it in different forms. What if it was this way? What if it was that way? What if we look at it from another point of view? That is using the power of imagination to rearrange the scenarios of your life. Imagination helps us to see different actions that can be taken and to create a preferred future for ourselves. So if we want to live fruitful lives, our minds cannot be fixed. We cannot just box ourselves into a space and say, well, this is how it's always been, this is how it's always going to be, and, and talk yourself out of solutions. A fruitful life starts with a fruitful mind, fruitful thinking. We see it in the way God created the universe, and we see it in how people have created inventions in our world, and we will see it in your life as you allow God to stimulate your thought so that you can look at life from 
a very, very wide point of view instead of just a very, very small and narrow point of view. Fruitful works we see around us came from somebody's mind, somebody's imagination, somebody's thought. It's about time the world sees the fruitful thoughts that God has blessed you with. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, open my mind to your thoughts. Help me to capture the new ideas of your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May the Lord inspire new ideas in your spirit and in your mind. I am Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.